Ah, you know that person who suddenly started acting like you're a ghost on their timeline? You try to talk, send messages, react to their stories, and what do you get in return? The purest, most crystal clear silence? Well, enough of playing the needy for someone else's attention. It's time to flip the script and do it in a way that leaves them clueless about where the emotional punch came from. In this video, I'm going to teach you the art of ignoring with class. No amateur disappearing acts, but a cold, calculated plan. The idea? Make this person not only realize they messed up, but also bitterly regret underestimating your existence. And in the process, take back emotional control where it should have always stayed. In your hands. Pay attention because this isn't just another generic, cheap self-help tutorial. It's a practical, sharp manual tailored to turn the ice you took into pure embers on their side. But hold on. Before we dive in head first, let me give you a heads up. This video exists because someone with good judgment liked it and subscribed before you. Now it's your turn to make sure the effort pays off. Like, subscribe, and maybe drop a thanks in the comments. Not for me, but for the infamous algorithm, which needs to understand that this content is a public service. Once you've done that, we can start. No more beating around the bush. Let's get to the first strategy because I'm not here to pat your head. Number one, identifying the emotional circus. First of all, stop playing the naive card, thinking the person just forgot to respond. No, my friend, this is an emotional game, and yes, you're being played. When someone ignores you, especially after a connection, the message is clear. I'm in charge here. You dance to my tune, and I decide when and if you deserve attention. It's the classic passive-aggressive power play, and you know what happens to you. You get stuck in the loop of paranoia. Did I do something wrong? Does she think I'm insignificant? What can I do to fix this? Meanwhile, the other person, without lifting a finger, feels like the king or queen of the castle, controlling everything. Here's the twist. This illusion of power only exists because you're feeding it. Every message you send, every little reaction to their story, every attempt to grab their attention is like giving their ego an extra boost. You've become the fuel for their show. So, what's the secret? Cut the fuel. Ignoring her back isn't just an attitude. It's taking the control out of her hands. When you stop reacting, the game loses its charm and, along with it, the power that person thought they had. Never forget, true power lies with those who can stay silent and move forward without hesitation. That's the emotional game in play. And in the next step, I'll show you how to break this cycle with the surgical elegance of a true master of disdain. Number two, the impact of total cutoff, the art of strategic disappearance. It's time to stop playing around and put the plan into action. And the first move in this emotional chess game is simple and devastating, disappear. This isn't a joke. It's vanishing from the map with style and precision. What is total cutoff? It's the ultimate ninja operation. No messages. No responding to occasional, Hey, where have you been? No liking photos or reacting to stories. And for the love of your dignity, no stalking her like a detective from a cheap soap opera. Does it sound drastic? It has to be. By cutting off contact, you send a loud and clear message without having to say a word. Your presence is irrelevant to my happiness. Why does this work? Because humans hate emptiness. While you continue throwing yourself at her feet, she's convinced that you're there, ready, available and predictable. What does that provoke? Absolutely nothing. Now, when you disappear, emptiness takes over and her brain, poor thing, starts frying. Did he get tired of me? Did he find someone better? Why did he disappear so suddenly? This doubt consumes her. That's where silence becomes your most powerful weapon. It screams where words would fail. How to resist the urge to send that dumb message? Ah, I know, it's tough. The habit of chasing is strong, but let's break it. 
Follow these tips. Block her notifications. Out of sight, out of mind. Fill your schedule. Keep yourself busy with things that truly matter, or at least distract you. Stay focused. Every time you think about sending a message, remember, it's a step back, and you're not here to retreat. How long should this last? A minimum of two to three weeks. Yes, it seems like an eternity, but patience. That's the necessary time for her to realize that the show is no longer happening because the protagonist decided to exit the stage. What happens during this time, in the first few days? Nothing. Absolute silence. It will seem like she didn't even notice your absence, but wait. She might start posting provocative photos or stories, clearly trying to grab your attention. She might send you generic messages like, Hey, or all good, read as, Why aren't you crawling back to me? If she's proud, she might just keep stalking you discreetly, waiting for you to give in. The secret to success. Don't give in, not even a millimeter. Every time you ignore, you're taking away the emotional control she thought she had over you. And gradually she'll realize that the game has changed and it won't revert to how it was before. You're in control now. Enjoy it. Number three, the art of showing you're busy, becoming the protagonist of your own life. Now that you've strategically disappeared and already shaken her peace of mind, it's time to tighten the noose. How? By showing that you're living your best life, happy, busy, and best of all, completely indifferent. But pay attention. No overdoing it and appearing like a desperate peacock. Subtlety is your secret weapon. Why showing you're busy is a sure hit. Simple. Busy and accomplished people shine. When you prove that you have priorities, hobbies, and a life full of movement, you become an irresistible enigma. From that needy person who was always on my case, you transform into who is this incredible being and why am I not in their life? How to master this art without looking like a needy clown. Invest in social media, but smartly. Post casual photos. Read strategically calculated in cool places but without looking like a wannabe influencer. Enigmatic stories are gold. An interesting coffee, a focused workout, or a caption like just enjoying the moment. It's about saying a lot without saying anything. Avoid long texts or motivational quotes worthy of a cheap coach. The idea is subtlety, not giving a lecture. Take care of yourself like never before. Give your appearance a boost. Hair, clothes, even a new perfume. Change something about yourself that makes her realize the old version is in the past. Post discreetly, a before and after from the gym, a more confident photo, without forcing it. This subtle transformation screams, I'm evolving and you're not part of it. Show you have an amazing social life. Show up with friends, always in fun moments. And if you can include new people, even better. The master stroke. A group photo where she has to wonder who's that person next to him. No captions, just mystery. Explore new horizons. Start a hobby. Enroll in something different or travel to a new place. This not only is good for you, but also increases your aura of someone with an incredible life. A casual photo of something new. A dish you cooked. A landscape or a book you're reading with the caption, doing something different. What not to do. The manual for shooting yourself in the foot. Overpost. If you never posted anything and now look like a paparazzi in your own life, it will sound forced. Drop hints. Passive aggressive phrases like, guess I'm the one losing, huh? LOL are pathetic and show you're still stuck in the game. Forcibly show new friendships. Photos glued with random people just to cause jealousy are a sign of desperation. Why does this work so well? Because while she's busy trying to figure you out, you're super busy living. This creates doubts and even some emotional discomfort. She starts to wonder, How is he doing so well without me? Did he already forget me? 
What's happening in his life that I'm not part of? This is the final blow. Turn her absence into your choice, and do it with class. And of course, if you want to stop being the emotional treadmill everyone steps on, grab the digital book I left in the description. There's the complete manual to flip the game once and for all, put anyone in their place, and finally earn the respect you deserve. It's not magic, it's attitude. And you should have started yesterday. Number 4. The Power of Curiosity. How to enter her head without warning. You're in control, living your best life, or pretending to. And now it's time to take the next strategic step. Use curiosity as your secret weapon. Why? Because curiosity is the key to invading her mind without asking for permission. It's the kind of trick that makes her think about you while brushing her teeth or staring at the ceiling at night. Why does curiosity work so well? The brain hates not knowing. When you create a mystery, people become obsessed with filling the gaps. The lack of answers screams louder than any desperate text you could send. Less is more, and silence with a hint of mystery turns into a complete symphony. How to plant curiosity masterfully. Strategic and enigmatic posts show, but never everything. Stories are your best ally here. Post a photo in an interesting place, but don't say where you are. A dinner with wine glasses on the table, but without showing who's on the other side. Use vague captions. Good change is coming my way. Some moments don't need an explanation. Just living one day at a time. Done. She'll be staring at her phone thinking, what changes? Who is with him? Why is he so happy and I know nothing? Respond without responding. If she shows up, if she sends a message, be short, polite, but impossible to decipher. Her, how are you? You, better than ever and you. Her, what have you been up to? You, focused on things that truly matter. End of conversation. Let her gnaw her nails trying to understand. Socialize, but without overdoing it. Show up at events or be seen with friends. If you can include new people in the equation, even better. If you have mutual friends, you can bet someone will comment on how well you're doing lately. Be unpredictable. Change your routine. If she knows you always frequent the same place or do the same things, break that pattern. The feeling that you're evolving without her is fatal to her ego. Avoid being always online on social media at the same times. Appear randomly and briefly. The impact of well-dosed curiosity. Curiosity generates discomfort. And discomfort leads to action. Suddenly, she'll start to wonder. Has he already forgotten me? What's happening in his life that I don't know? Did I miss something important? And you know what's best? You didn't even have to chase her or say anything directly. Now that the seed of doubt is growing in her head, get ready for the next move. How to act when she finally breaks the silence. Spoiler, that's when you'll close the game with class and without mercy. Number 5. How to respond. When she comes back, the manual for total control. Finally, the moment has arrived. After all your work to flip the game, she returns. It could be out of regret, curiosity, or just to boost her own ego. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you handle it. And spoiler, not like a puppy wagging its tail. Rule number one, maintain control. Please, no tantrums, no emotional messages, or displays of anxiety. The worst thing you can do is hand over on a silver platter that you were waiting for this moment. Take a deep breath, put on your crown, and follow the instructions. How to respond strategically. Be brief, be direct. She sends that classic, hey, where have you been? And you, no long texts. Respond short and casual, something like, hey, all good? No interrogating. No adding anything more. You're not Google to answer extra questions. Show you're busy. Make it clear that your life is full. Preferably of things more interesting than her. What have you been up to? You. Ah, uh, lots. 
but focused on what really matters now. She'll burn neurons trying to figure out what really matters. Don't be always available. She sent a message. Great. Respond. But only when you want to. Never immediately, because you're not a 24-hour service. Take your time. But don't seem like you're playing. You have a busy life, remember? Maintain the mystery. She tries to investigate your life. Lock the vault. What's changed? You. Ah, a few things. I'm in a new phase now. Period. Don't explain. Don't give details. Mystery is the spark that will keep her thinking about you. What does this approach communicate? You're in control. You're no longer the desperate one from before. Your life is interesting. She'll realize that while she was playing Ignore, you moved forward. She needs to chase you. By not fully giving in, you make it clear that she'll have to make an effort. Now it's simple. You set the pace. Respond with class, keep appearing unattainable, and watch as she tries to reclaim the spot that, honestly, you should think twice before offering back. If you made it this far, congratulations. Not because you now have the magic formula to flip the game, but because you finally realized one obvious thing. The power has always been yours. Being ignored. It was never about you. It was about how you chose to react. The final message. It's about you, not her. This isn't revenge. It's not about proving who's on top. It's about something much more important. Prioritizing yourself. Recover your dignity. Nothing, absolutely nothing, is worth humiliating yourself for someone who doesn't know your worth. Prioritize your happiness. When you stop trying to please and start living for yourself, something magical happens. You become irresistible. Lead by example. You don't need to say anything. Your actions, or the absence of them, say everything she needs to know. The toxic cycle is broken. By strategically ignoring, you make it clear that you won't participate in a game where only one person wins. And here's the best part. When the cycle is broken, it's not you who loses. It's her who now realizes what she lost while you were busy becoming someone even better. The true prize. The best outcome of this process. It's not her crawling back. It's not seeing her full of regret. It's you looking in the mirror and seeing someone more confident, stronger, and above all, free. So, take a deep breath, follow the plan, and let the game unfold. Spoiler, it's already in your favor. And the best part? You no longer need to care. The stage is now yours.